we weren't able to talk about it then, but now we can talk about uh, poor old Thor yeah. in that film. He sort of, he did eat his feelings. He definitely <laughs> ate his way through his emotions, yeah. <laughs> he did. We've got some <laughs> pictures. Um, there, yeah. there you are, eating your feelings. That's it. But now you didn't do that. Oh, no, that was my uh, full Raging Bull Oscar attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that, I mean, cause it's, so this is a fat suit. This is, no, it's the most remarkable thing. It, it, it's a... It's uh, so good. It's a... It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> prosthetic uh, latex kind of thing, which literally I would slip into. It weighed about... 60, 70 pounds, was that 30, 40 kilograms? Yeah. With a zip up the back. And they're taking photos of my body and then every little sort of the, the, the hair or freckle or whatever the hell that was on that thing. It was, it was, it was that, that's my body in, in like six months' time. <laughs> <laughs> After this. And like Thor was depressed, but were, was it depressing walk for you walking nah. around like that? No, nah, it was so much fun. It was good. <laughs> Did people treat you differently? As in, <laughs> yeah, every time I stepped toward the catering truck, they were like, no, 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 no. Not an ugly guy. You know, on the treadmill. We were, we were doing an interview yesterday, <laughs> and the journalist, for Good Omens, and the journalist said, asked me, were you wearing a fat suit for it? <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't zip up. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she? She did, I'm afraid. She didn't really recover from that moment. No, no, no. The interview, the interview, the interview never went came. south quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and did you get the, the pregnant lady thing where people just want to touch your stomach? You got a lot of cuddles. And like... <laughs> My wife, I've had, th I've had three, she's had three kids. And uh, often, you know, the pregnant lady, they get the, the belly rub in the yeah, supermarket. Yeah, yeah. And, Robert Downey gave me a fair share of belly rubs. <laughs> Tessa, tell me this. What is the thing between about you and goats? Oh, um, well, I... Oh, so I think I kind of look like one in the sense because my, my eyes are sort of far... They're spaced far apart. And so there was this photograph that was taken of me um, and I found a photograph that I looked that I looked similar to that goat. And so in the hair and makeup trailer I was making in London, this film Annihilation, and we had it in the hair and makeup trailer. And I think at some point I said something about it in an interview and someone started this, this, um, this Twitter account called Tessa as goats. So they, every day <laughs> they post a photograph of uh, me and a photograph of a goat that looks <laughs> like me. Um, Tess is not making this up. You'll like this, Claudia. Uh, so <laughs> some of them, now, some of them are very simple. This, this is you in a stripy dress, and all they have to do is find a stripy goat. Not hard to do. There you go. Uh, <laughs> now the next one. This is uh, you in a straw hat. Surely we'll find a goat in a straw hat. Yes, they did. There you go. Uh, beautiful. Now this is harder. This is you with firemen. Now, that, Ooh. you know, you don't immediately think, well, there's bound to be a picture of a goat with firemen, <laughs> but there is. <laughs> yeah. uh, those firemen look happier than the other firemen. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them. <laughs> now, this is very difficult. This is you as Valkyrie on a horse. Will there be a picture mm. of a goat on a horse? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> I feel like that goat was on that horse for a nanosecond. Yeah. <laughs> they just got it in time. Yeah, mid-hop. <laughs> and, and finally, <laughs> this is Tessa on a motorbike in <laughs> Men in Black International. Will there be a picture of a goat <laughs> as a pillion passenger on a motorbike? Yeah. Why, yes, there will. <laughs> How comfortable does that goat look? Very good. <laughs> You're from Scotland as well. I am, yeah. So, have you had a kilt experience? I'm still traumatised by something that happened to me um, the other day, actually. So I went to my cousin's wedding and I thought, I'm going to film the occasion and then give it to her as a Christmas present. <laughs> and then <laughs> I was going through all the material and somebody had obviously taken the camera. This wasn't me. Um, and it went all dark and I could see, like, something moving around. Um, and then I suddenly realised that it was an up-kilt shot of my cousin. Ooh. Oh! It was horrible! Did you leave it in, or did you take it out? I, it's deleted. Oh, you, did you really? Yeah, I could I don't want to look at that. DVD extras on the no. wedding. No. <laughs> Here's the show here. <laughs> <laughs> we found it. <laughs> that bit at the end, when you're doing that lovely thing and you're looking into each other's eyes, mm. 
Were you on a box or something? Because no. that's... <laughs> Or were you in a yes. hole? Well, I was, I was mainly cast because I can make anyone look huge. That's right. <laughs> they stand next four to four me. Three. <laughs> I'm just extraordinarily short. But yeah, they usually had some sort of ramp that I would like walk up <laughs> and land somewhere near his face. That's true, That's true. yeah. Little, should, we, should we stand we up should, and show yeah. it? Yeah. And I have like very high heels on right now. <laughs> I have like my, my Thor like, heels. Are you the Thor heels? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. So, you know. That's actually quite a high ramp. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quite a bit of, uh, yeah. you know. A, a steep incline. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, uh, of course, with great action here roles come great action figures, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. And uh, we've got some here. Uh, here, oh no, you've dropped your hammer. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, there's yours. Have you seen this yet? Uh, not that particular one, but it's, the likeness is incredible. <laughs> it, it is uncanny, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? It's... That's the uh, could, and, and you press, slightly sedated version, isn't it? And then you do an odd thing, you press you here and you talk. Strike you down. He's <laughs> angry. So there's you, and then wow. we'll just we'll just get yeah. Natalie's action figure. Here she is. Now they are almost. Uh... <laughs> 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 Where's the ref? Exactly. Yeah. Where's the ref? Children would have hours <laughs> fun playing with those. <laughs> Those dolls. <laughs> That's not a hammer. Uh, <laughs> but you, you look a bit distraught. I look your hat, you're just like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Hey, hey Pratt, you apparently like getting naked, and at one point you tried to turn that into your source of income. What? Well, not. <laughs> I've always. Uh, you know... I'm really happy that question wasn't for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, for a while I, I stripped for money. Bless you, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Successfully? Well, I mean, uh, how, how, if when you need 40 bucks and you get 40 bucks, <laughs> uh, consider that success. <laughs> I didn't do it like, uh, it never got like uninnocent, you know what I mean? Like I actually did it maybe three or four times and then decided I was gonna go and like audition at an actual nightclub, like a, like a strip club for men and I, uh, with male strippers, you know? And I went and I did an audition, but when I was there, there was like a guy sleeping in his car waiting for the club to open because he was a dancer there. And I just felt this darkness that I was like, this is about to turn, this is like going from Fun, funny storytelling thing that yeah. in, you know, 15 years I can tell on the Graham Norton show. <laughs> to uh, you know, I could I be that go guy. To Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you remember the first time I ever came on here because we were just talking about she's never been on the show before. No, I know, which is amazing. No, I'm aware of that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but it is quite—it's a unique environment because it's very—you're uh, very vulnerable, really. Because it's—I don't know—it just feels. I feel quite shy. Right? <laughs> but I remember the first time I was on. Do you remember the first time and Liam Neeson was late and we were on for like an hour yes. and a half. We were on, out what here. What was he doing? He was just late because he was coming from another Rescuing job or something. Rescuing his daughter. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can you sing songs and things? The guy, we did everything. Yeah, the guitar yeah. came yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the great, we'll talk about Burnt more, but one of the things that struck me is that London looks fabulous. Oh, yeah, they it did really a great job. It really does, doesn't it? It looks so yeah. good in this movie. And for you, Sienna, is it nice to kind of be filming in London? Because when you filmed in London before, people were taking pictures and paparazzi, but you yes. don't really have that so much anymore. No, do you? not at all, so it was great. How did the shutters come down on that? I secretly filmed them on what looked like a lighter, but was actually a camera for about two years. It was proper spy stuff and and yeah and basically built up a case and then took it to court and got an injunction so that it's illegal for them to kind of follow or sit outside the house i mean if you're coming out of somewhere like a premiere then you can expect it but anywhere anywhere else it and i just have to say real quick so she told me this and i was doing the elephant man and sometimes paparazzi would follow us so i had my buddy meet me at the like have a, like a camera at the side of the place where i was staying and another friend <laughs> in the back of the car and the guy who i drive with george his uncle who's a black cab driver come and we had this whole thing we were going to get them no one followed us. 
I'm like, go, 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 go. I'm on my cell phone, like, through the thing. I got him. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but, in the States, yeah. but in the States, you do get bothered, don't you? Uh, yeah, but not that much, you know. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's more in Europe or something. Like, if you go on vacation, sometimes you get just murdered, yeah. But it was an unfortunate uh, paparazzi <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, you have a sixth sense of when you're getting captured. Yeah, yeah I, this was a couple years ago, but I do remember being outside. I lived in this little house in Venice, and there was no... The outdoor, the front door just opened right to the street, and I was putting my dog, I think, in the back of the truck or something or something. <laughs> and I was sort of bent down like this, and I, I, you could hear the click. You know, you just hear it. You get used to that clicking yeah, sound. Yeah. I thought, oh, yeah, these pants are really... Like, they're... Oh, I think my ass is hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then, like, you know, you go online, you're like, yep, there, they got there it. My <laughs> no, in fairness, they did. We've got it there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah there it is. Oh, it was good, though. It was the dog. That was my dog. Russell Crowe, what was the, the thing with Michael Jackson? This is such an odd story. What? Huh? Oh, he just got into the habit of um, wherever I was staying, he'd just call the hotel and ask for my room and put on funny voices. And I actually, I, I, yeah, I know. I, I didn't. I'd never met him, you know. But, and the never thing is, the this. first couple of people that I said it to, I was like, I didn't want to sound like I was insane, right? But <laughs> Michael, you know, prank called me today. You know? But when I actually started talking to people who really knew him well, they go, "Man, he does it all the time." You know? But it was like, yeah, it was like a thing. I used to do that when I was like 11 and 12. <laughs> I used to pretend I was a radio announcer and, and like, give people prizes on the phone. <laughs> trips to Fiji and all this sort of stuff. And I would get so excited, you know? <laughs> and then I would just hang up and go, wow, that was a good job well done. I made that person. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he, Who did he, Michael Jackson pretend to be? <laughs> he would uh, always start off being kind of gruff like he was the hotel management and there was some kind of problem, you know? I'd say that's less surprising than saying you're Michael Jackson. <laughs> but, you know, and then, then if I got kind of irritated, he'd go, oh, <laughs> Girl, what are you reacting? It's only Michael. That's <laughs> 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 so wrong. Did you ever meet him? Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he. Are we sure it was Michael Jackson? That's what I mean. I mean <laughs> a double prank. Are you sure it wasn't George Clooney? Because that's the kind of thing he does. Is it? It could have been George. No, it was Michael. Uh, <laughs> must, Chris, uh, very quickly mention Thor, uh, mostly so we can show this picture. Sure. Um, <laughs> why would you be embarrassed? Be embarrassed. God. It just looks like a lot of dieting and exercise <laughs> to me. I'm like, thanks. No. But also, now apparently, is this true that people, this is odd, so people come up to you and they want you to tell a specific joke. Oh, they just come and tell me Thor jokes. Oh, I so they see. Yell Thor lines oh, and stuff. okay. Like, so, um, it, yeah, go. Uh, you know the the joke about um, the Thor spends a night with this woman, and the next morning he says, "I have to tell you who I am." You know, I'm Thor. She says, "You're Thor. I can hardly walk." <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Mangan, I would have thought your look is quite unique. You would think that, wouldn't you? You would. I get told I look like everyone's mate. Anyone with curly hair and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Put a horse in a wig and it's, it's me. <laughs> I get told I look like Elliot Gould, Jerry Seinfeld, Ruth Van Nistelrooy, Mika. <laughs> oh, my God. The donkey from Shrek. <laughs> you know, I have to say, though, we have a picture of the donkey of Shrek and you do look remarkably like... <laughs> Separated at birth. Yeah, no, because I thought I thought, I thought, oh, someone's exaggerating. Then we looked at the picture and was like, actually, it actually it does. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said to me, you don't sound like him. I said, well, that's because it's Eddie Murphy. Of course you don't sound like him. 